hey welcome back to the last tutorials of a web scrapping series and in this video we gonna uh, store the data in a csv format which already stored it but uh, you know in few a column like a person rating and then we have to first split it and uh, then uh, uh, column name is totally wrong it's a rating we have to just change it and then we'll store in the csv format after that we'll also store the data in a mongodb uh, database as well so let me first solve this pro problem this r-a-r-t-i-n-g that's totally wrong and i have to change it here by mistake i just write it down the statement is r-a-r-t-i-n-g so just have to remove it but uh, don't worry when i just save this data set uh, uh that this code you all you can also find out this code on a uh, description in the link in a description i just given the link, uh, github link where this code is available you can just refer it that entire code is available all right so now it's a uh, rating that's complete state statement uh, statement is perfect and now now next target is that when i check the data type uh d types then you will getting the everything is object but obviously this rating should be numeric all right it should be numeric let me just create in in a numeric format uh pd dot to numeric okay and where you want to store it i just want to work on a df of rating okay and uh, that value should also be stored inside a uh, same column yep so now when i check the data types again then you will get the uh you know rating is uh, numeric okay then you'll get the uh, rating is numeric let me just check it yeah it's a floating point values so now our uh, next target is that uh we have to convert our person rating into number of rating and number of reviews all right so we'll create into two columns the first one is number of uh rating and the second one is uh, number of uh review okay number of reviews and then we have to exactly work on a df of that particular column is number of rating okay number of rating then we'll try to split the values here okay dot str dot split uh str dot split and uh split not a split split and i want to split with uh this values this is the position one and uh, expand expand is equal to true so hope this will be work fine uh okay let me just try to run it again uh yep and let me just check it it's properly working or not df so yes it's creating the number of review and number of rating that's perfect okay but again i don't want the rating word like every uh, rose is showing the you know rating and then words rating as well i have to remove it so exactly i have to work on a same column right same column dot uh, str and uh, i have to just split it dot split with space okay that split with space str of 0 when i just run it and check the value is a df okay so now it's showing the only a number of rating it's not the rating word is there do the copy paste again and uh, and this time is number of reviews so number of reviews i have to remove the reviews that word is there is reviews so which i have to remove it okay so when i run it and then getting the value is only reviews all right okay the spelling is wrong uh it's not a res reviews okay yep now it's only reviews and unwanted column will directly remove it all right so first of all i don't want uh, this column so df dot drop 
and i will drop this column person rating okay and uh, i also want to drop the number of reviews that by mistake i did it so we can remove it it's not a big thing here okay and then comma will pass the second values as well but it should be in double quotes yeah and we are removing the uh, column if you're removing the rows then we are passing zero if we're removing the column we are passing uh, one all right and we have to store in the same variable df so when i just run it and then you'll find out the perfect database yeah product name sale price actual price rating offer number of rating and number of reviews all right everything is clear uh, you know created properly and that's totally the 347 rows is available now this data i want to store inside a csv format again okay but my data is already available in csv format which i want to remove it okay i want to just uh, uh, delete it here let me just delete this one and run the values again so when you check the uh, data set iphone.csv the time a uh, properly uh, uh, take the values let me show you on excel that took a number of reviews number of rating and uh, offers everything is there so now our next target is to store the data set into mongodb so if you are storing the data into mongodb make sure that you have to uh, install the uh, py mongo basically the mongodb is a separate application okay mongodb is a separate application python is a separate programming language and we need uh, some mediator to connect both the values so and that will work by the py mongo library right py mongo library so we have to first install it first you have to install the py mongo libraries okay in case if you don't have a uh, py mongo libraries just explanatory marks pip install py mongo and just check it py mongo is properly working or not it's not giving any error that means py mongo is properly working all right and then uh, you have to connect with uh, you know mongo client where we are working on a local machine we are working on our same computer so we have to pass a local host and a port number if you want to find out in uh, mongodb it's already given there okay 27017 in case if you're if you don't have a mongodb you want to install it i already given the description in the link uh, in a description i given the link that how to install a mongodb step by step process there you can just refer it and download the mongodb okay after creating the connectivity with a uh, mongodb and then you have to create one database which is the flipkart db here my database name is a flipkart db and then we are creating the uh, one collection which name is iphone okay so only our entire database i want to create complete entire database i want to create one uh, iphone collection so in that database you can also store the multiple product in the same time like if you just collect the samsung product and want to store the data so you can store in the flipkart db as well so and uh, our data set is available in the totally data frame format right in the completely data frame format and i want the data is one by one i like in a product uh, because in, here i just pass insert one that means you can pass insert only one product in the same time but that product is taking your column name and value uh, both so that's why i apply the data set dot iter rows so let me show you how exactly it's working df dot i log let me just uh, take the you know uh, only one particular rows okay this is only one rows and uh, let me store in uh, uh, a variable okay and just apply a for um you know i comma g and uh, in a dot iter rows iter rows iter 
mm, rows. And when you just print i, then you'll getting the index only. The first one is always showing the index. And when you uh, print g, then you'll getting the actual data set, right? So here you can see the actual data set. In a j of zero is showing the value of product name, right? Product name, which is iPhone, uh, Apple iPhone 12 mini. And um, uh, j of one is showing the value is, uh, I think, uh, sell price, right? And the ZF2 is uh, actual price. So these are iterating the values one uh, one by one. And uh, that are storing in the particular variables, like product name, sale price, actual price, rating, all the values are storing in the particular variables. And after that, I just creating the complete dictionary with key value pair. Uh, the product name is your key and product. And this one is your variables, which store the data. Because when it iterate the complete uh, for loop, then you have a 347 data set. It will apply, like it will uh, take only one data set, you know, one rows, and to uh, split it all the values, create the dictionary, and insert it in a MongoDB. Right? Insert in a MongoDB and give the confirmation done. When all the process is completed, then is giving the confirmation done. Hope you understood how exactly is working. In case still, if you have uh, issues, you just uh, create a new shell and just try to just segregate it and work on it. Okay. Let me just close and uh, run it here. And uh, in the database, there is no any flip card type of data is available right now. So when I just run it, then you will getting given the confirmation done. That means all the 347 rows is stored in MongoDB. So when I go to the MongoDB and refresh it, then you're getting a Flipkart date DB is available. When you go there, then you're getting iPhone with 347 and 81 KB data set. Okay. And the document document size. We can also find out your data set in a JSON format. Okay, and you can also find out your data set in a completely tabular format as well. And if your data set is available in a MongoDB, so you can work on it in a, you know your own way. So exactly your data set is available in particular database. So it's not important you have to store the data in MongoDB. You can store in a MySQL, Postgres, and any cloud uh, databases. You can store anywhere. But I just took the example of the MongoDB to store it. OK. So this all the project uh, code, everything is available on my GitHub account, which is I given the description in the link. You can just go there and download the code and you can easily understand. Hope you understood this entire project process. And that was a web scrapping. How what we did, we just uh, go to the Flipkart website and collect the iPhone data, iPhone product with some, uh, you know, particular columns, particular uh, values, product name, sale price, and actual price. This all the values. And we store on a MongoDB and CSV.